All right, today we are going to look at the, we're going to continue looking at the properties of limits, and we're going to specifically look at composite functions. Uh, so we are going to assume that we have two functions, f of x and g of x, where the limit of g of x as x approaches c is l, and the limit of f of x as x approaches l is f of l. All right, so how do we write this? First off, let's look at the notation that we would use if we're, if we're writing this composite function. It would be the limit of f of g of x as x approaches uh, c. So that's one way that we could do it. Or we could say f of the limit as x approaches c of g of x. And that equals, all of that will always equal f of l, which means uh, the limit plugged into f. Okay, so how does this work? Um, well, let's take a look at a, a specific example and see if we can map out where some of this, uh, where some of this is coming from. So we're going to start with g of x. We'll say g of x equals x squared plus 4. And we're going to say f of x is equal to the square root of x. Okay, so uh, one way to do this is to create a composite function. So to create a composite function, we put uh, g of x inside f of x. So f of g of x equals g of x, g of x, inside f of x. So we've got x squared plus 4. All right, so now if we want to find the limit of this, we're going to be looking at this first portion here. We're going to find the limit of that, so we're finding the limit of the square root of x squared plus 4 as x is approaching 0. Well, that's pretty straightforward. All you do is you plug 0 into your function, uh, and we've got 0 squared plus 4, which is 4, and we know the square root of that is 2. So that's nice and easy. That's one way that you could do this. The other way that we saw when we did uh, functions before was when we found the limit of one or the, the value of one function and then put that function inside the next. What does that mean? All right, well, let's, let's, let's do the same thing, but we'll use, we'll use green now. So we're going to first find, it's gonna be, we're going to be looking at this example here. So first we want to find the limit of the limit of x squared, I'm sorry, yeah, x squared plus 4 as x approaches 0. All right, so that's our g of x. We're finding the limit of g of x. So when we do that, we plug in 0. We see the result of that is going to be 4. Okay, so now we want to find what that means as we put that into our f of x. So we're just going to take that 4 and we're going to put it straight into f of x. There we go, and that value then is going to be f of l um, or 2. So when x is 2, we know, or when we're approaching, uh, when we're approaching the limit, we are getting closer and closer to 2. When we're approaching 4, we're getting closer to 2. So those are two different ways that you can find the limits of composite functions. You can create your composite function like we did on the left, or you can do uh, multiple substitutions like we did on the right. I hope that helps, and I'll talk to you soon.